Hi, this is Garvey Campbell and you are watching Carnival Network. This is our first roundup of the month. We're going to tell you the Carnival and Soca news happening all across the globe to keep you in the picture. For our first story, in Trinidad, concerns about crime and US immigration are harming Trinidad Carnival 2017. Some mass bands have reported that registration has been affected. Culture Minister Miami Gatsby Dolly has confirmed that tourist arrivals have been dropping and the event attendance has dropped also. However, Lewis Hart of Hart's Mass Band hasn't seen any issues with registration for his band. He closed by saying at this point, it'd be very hard to actually pin down whether it's US immigration that's the problem, but he's monitoring it. In our second story on the island of St. Lucia, they've just launched six new festivals, all named Soleil. The new festival season aims to increase tourism and help businesses and local artists on the island. The summer festival season will start on May the 12th. Amongst the festivals, the St. Lucia Carnival is set to start in June and the St. Lucia Tourist Board says the carnival gives revelers the chance to play mass and enjoy carnival just like the locals do. This provides a great opportunity for people looking for a holiday spot in the Caribbean. With these six festivals, you get the chance to have some real fun in St. Lucia. For our third and final story, a fake article by statestv.com has really riled up the Caribbean diaspora. The story, posted a little while ago, says Jamaica and Guyana are going to become United States territories. Many Caribbean nationals were sharing it on Facebook and Twitter until they heard later that it was a fake story. Find out about this story and others on our website. This is Garvey Campbell, and you've been watching Carnival Network. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Carnival Network, on Twitter at Carnival Net, and check out our website, carnivalnetwork.co.uk. I want to